Concord attorney Rick Lehman, who has long served as legal counsel to the New Hampshire State Senate under Republican leadership, is now representing former President Donald Trump in federal court as Trump fights an attempt by a long-shot GOP presidential candidate to kick him off the ballot. A federal judge is allowing an evidentiary hearing to proceed next month as John Anthony Castro of Texas seeks to have Trump removed from the ballot under the 14th Amendment to the Constitution. Castro contends Trump is disqualified under the insurrection clause of that amendment. The suit points to the January 6th attack on the counting of electoral votes in Congress and alleges, quote, Trump provided the insurrectionists with comfort in the form of words of sympathy. While Trump's attorneys are declining comment, RNC committeeman and lawyer Bill O'Brien says the lawsuit is without merit. Given the fact that he's filing these lawsuits throughout the country, um, and given the fact that uh, he certainly appears by his social postings to being trying to choose um, favorable courts, I, my hope is that uh, the, the, the U.S. District Court in New Hampshire will uh, put itself in a position of not being one of those favorable courts. Castro is acting as his own attorney, and he clearly wants this case to move up and out of Concord, calling the U.S. Supreme Court, quote, the most competent and legitimate body to determine whether an individual is ineligible. While it will likely be up to a higher court to sort out this case involving Civil War era law, Trump's dedicated supporters are portraying it as an attempt to sabotage the GOP frontrunner. They can't beat Donald Trump in a fair and square matchup, so they're trying to do everything they can to remove his name off the ballot. That's election interference. The evidentiary hearing is scheduled for October 20th. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.